hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Zalinda and I specialize in teaching yoga that is comfortable and beneficial for people with all kinds of bodies. And today we're working on a very special yoga practice. This is maybe not what people have in mind when they think about yoga. We're not gonna be doing anything strong. We're not gonna be getting upside down. What we are going to be doing is focusing on calming your nervous system. If you are experiencing a lot of stress, if you have chronic pain, if you are trying to regulate your production of hormones in your body, if you have trouble sleeping, um, if you have a lot of headaches or tension in your jaw, you likely could benefit from calming your nervous system. And so that's what we're going to be working on today. I want to give you a little bit of information before we begin. Please be very gentle with the movements that you're going to make today. I can't emphasize this enough. Um, we all collectively have an idea that when we try to do something, we need to do the maximum of that thing. So the biggest kind of movement, the strongest kind of movement, we need to do it many repetitions or for a long amount of time. None of those apply in this practice that we're doing today. I really encourage you to listen to your body and do this practice in a way that feels very comfortable and very manageable. You definitely should not be feeling any kind of pain when you're doing this. Um, you shouldn't even feel that you're challenging yourself. You're just here to participate in a way that's comfortable for you and focus on your breathing and be easy with yourself for these few minutes that we're gonna be practicing together. Okay, that's enough information for now. Let's go ahead and get started and then I'll give you more information after the practice is finished. begin in a comfortable sitting position. We're going to work on some breathing first. So find a comfortable chair to sit on. You're going to want to sit up toward the front edge of the chair. In other words, you're not leaning back. And if you happen to be short like I am, you might want to put a little bit of something under your feet. I'm using yoga blocks. If you happen to have some, you can use them. Otherwise, maybe a step stool or some books or something like that so that Here's the measure. Your knees are at approximately the same height as your hip. So take a minute, find your sitting position. Um, I've also put a blanket on my chair. So if you have a hard chair like I do, you might want to put some padding on your chair. Do what you need to do to help your body feel comfortable. Okay, when you are all set, we're going to start to work on breathing like I mentioned. So set your feet up maybe a little bit apart so that you feel like you have a stable and comfortable foundation. You can lengthen your spine as much as is comfortable. Rest your hands on your legs. And if it feels okay for you, you can even close your eyes. And all we're gonna do right here is pay attention to breathing. So start to observe when your body is inhaling and also when your body is exhaling. We're going to take a little time here, so be patient with yourself as you get used to focusing on your breathing. When you feel ready to start paying attention to a little more detail, you can start to focus on smoothing your breath, both the inhale and the exhale. Continue working on helping them to become smooth. And then one more detail you can pay attention to here. This is actually a visualization. Visualize that when you inhale, your ribs are expanding out toward the sides. And when you exhale, naturally your ribs are going to contract back in toward the midline of your body. 
So inhale, your ribs are expanding out toward the sides. Exhale, the ribs contract. Continue observing that for another two, maybe three breaths. You're smoothly breathing in and out through your nose if possible. And observing the activity of your lungs and rib cage. Very good work. When you're ready, you can start to breathe naturally and you can open your eyes if you had previously closed them. Now we're going to start some moving and all of the movements that we're going to be doing today, you can do in a standing position or in a sitting position. So if you're comfortable here, you might choose to stay. I'm going to go ahead and move to standing and I'll demonstrate that way. All right. Make sure please that your spine is lengthened and your arms are relaxed down alongside your body. And in a minute here, we're going to start moving. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move our arms. And I want to take the opportunity right now to remind you that everything you do in this yoga practice should feel very comfortable. Nothing should feel challenging or painful. So please feel free to move to the range of motion that feels correct for you today. Okay, let's do it. On an inhale, extend your arms out toward the sides and maybe up if it feels okay for you. Palms will face in. And then exhale, bring your arms out and down. Smooth breath and movement. Inhale, arms are going out to whatever height is best for you. Exhale, arms move out and down. We're going to do three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, smooth movement. Here's the last one. Inhale and exhale. All right, great. Take a little break. Is your back tired? Do you need to twist around a little bit? Fold forward a little bit? What does it feel like your body needs? Just a break time. Okay, and now let's continue with the next sequence. And this one involves side bending. So please step your feet a little bit wide. Lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. On an inhale, stretch your arms out toward the sides. And then when you exhale, side bend left. So your left hand's going down your left leg. Bring your right hand to your hip. Now inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale to the right. So right hand goes to the right leg, left hand to the left hip. Inhale, come up to the center. And now we take a break. The arms slowly, smoothly come down. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms extend out. Exhale, left side bend. Inhale to the center. Exhale, right side bend. Please make sure you're comfortable. Inhale to the center. Exhale, arms come down. Let's do two more. Inhale, arms extend out. Exhale smoothly toward the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale toward the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, bring your arms down. And here's the last one. Inhale. Exhale toward the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale toward the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, the arms come down. Very good. Take a break again. Step your feet together. Wiggle around as needed. See what your body needs. All right, next, we're going to work on 
forward folding. And typically, when people think about forward folding in yoga, the mental image that pops up is, I'm supposed to bring my hands to the floor. We don't necessarily need to do that. Um, it'll be a good idea if we do something a little bit gentler and a little bit smaller range of motion. Let me give you a couple of options before we begin, and then we're going to move into it. I'm turning to the side just so you can see better. So one way that you can do a forward fold is you'll inhale and bring your arms up to shoulder height. And then when you exhale, you're going to bend your knees a bit and bring your hands onto your thighs. This is enough. Then inhale. You can use the strength of your legs to bring you back up. Exhale, you can bring your arms down. Or another option is you can rest your hands onto something like the seat of a chair or the back of a chair. So feel free to do this version if you prefer. It's going to be exactly the same thing. Inhale to here. Exhale, rest your hands down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms come down. All right, pick the way that you want to do it. Set yourself up. And then we will begin. So on an inhale, arms are moving forward to shoulder height. Exhale, bend your knees a bit, fold. Please make sure that you feel comfortable. On an inhale, use your strong legs to propel you back up. Arms stretch out in front. Exhale, arms come down. Let's keep going. Inhale, your arms come forward to chest height. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, strong legs are lifting you up. Exhale, arms forward and down. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, strong legs pick you up. Exhale, arms come down. We're going to continue and do two more. But if you're feeling tired, please take a break here. You can have a seat or just stand and breathe. Inhale, the arms go forward to chest height. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, smoothly, your arms come down. Here's the last one. Smooth inhale and movement, the arms come up. Exhale smoothly and smooth movement. Fold. Inhale smoothly. Come on up. Exhale smoothly. The arms come down. All right, very good. Again, take a little rest. Let's rest here for two or three breaths. Here's our last movement that we're going to work on, and it's a twisting movement. So once again, step your feet wide. On an inhale, extend your left arm out toward the side. And then when you exhale, twist and face toward the right side and maybe even touch your right shoulder if that feels OK. Inhale, extend your arm back out. You're facing forward. Exhale, your left arm comes down. Now the right side. Inhale, arm extends out. Exhale, twist toward your left. Inhale, extend your arm out. Exhale, bring this arm down. Left side again, smoothly. Inhale, stretch your arm out. Exhale, smoothly twist. Maybe touch your shoulder. Inhale, smoothly. Extend your arm out. Exhale, this arm comes down. Here's the right side. Inhale. Smoothly exhale as you twist. Inhale. Extend your arm out. Exhale, this arm comes down. One more round if you're up for it. Inhale, left. Exhale, twist. Inhale, extend your arm out. Exhale, smoothly down. And the right side, smoothly inhale. Exhale, twist. 
Inhale, extend your arm out. Exhale, bring this arm down. Very good work. Step your feet together. Take a break here again for two breaths, long and smooth through your nose. Very good. So we're gonna wrap up the practice that we've done today. So we've done the physical part of the practice, and now we need to do the more important part, the most important part, which is breathing. So please take a minute to reorient yourself to a sitting position. It could be sitting on a chair. It could be sitting on a recliner, if that's what is most comfortable for you. If sitting is not comfortable and you prefer to lie down, that is also a perfectly good option. So if you'd like, go ahead and pause the video here so you can take some time to set yourself up in your comfortable sitting position. And just to give you an idea about what to expect, we're gonna be sitting or lying down in this next position for about three to five minutes. So you wanna make sure that it's a comfortable enough position that you can stay in for that amount of time. Okay, now that you have established your comfortable position for breathing, let's go ahead and get started with it. Please lengthen your spine and relax your shoulders. And just like before, if you want to, you can close your eyes. And then begin to concentrate on your smooth breathing. You're inhaling and exhaling through your nose if that is possible for you today. After you have established the smoothness of your breathing, start to lengthen the breath out a little bit. Next, we're going to add some mental counting to the breathing. So when you inhale, count the length of your inhale. We're counting about one count per second. And then when you get around to your exhale, also count the length of the exhale. And go ahead and work on counting for about three to four rounds of breath so that you can get an idea of the length of your average inhale and the length of your average exhale. Please remember that even the breathing should feel comfortable and manageable. Um, definitely don't want to encourage you to breathe beyond your capacity to the point where you're feeling breathless or like you have to take a gasp. So keep your breathing in a very comfortable range, even if you're counting the length. It's not a contest about who can breathe the longest. So count your natural length of breath. That's the perfect starting point. Okay, so once you establish, you figure out what is my average inhale length and what is my average exhale length. We're going to start to work with that a little bit. So continue breathing and you're going to breathe to the count of your inhale. So say you figured out that your inhale length is three. You're going to inhale for a count of three and also exhale to that same length. So you're inhaling three and exhaling three as an example. We'll do a few rounds of this equal type of breathing.
and continue monitoring to make sure that it continues to feel comfortable. If it feels strenuous in any kind of way, reduce the length of the breath. Inhale two, exhale two, using our example. Okay, next step. The next thing we want to work on is increasing the length of just the exhale. So in this example where we're inhaling two and exhaling two, let us now exhale to a count of three. So it's inhale two, exhale three. And as you start getting into the rhythm of this current ratio of breathing, check and make sure it's comfortable. And if it happens to feel very easy and that you'd benefit from a longer inhale and a longer exhale, go ahead and make that adjustment, but keep the exhale a little bit longer than the inhale. Next time you complete an exhale, please return to an equal length of inhale and exhale. Comfortable and equal in length. And then you can return to natural breathing. Very good work. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Excellent. Please take a moment to notice how you are feeling. How is your body feeling? And also, how is your mind feeling? And then I'm going to take another minute or two of your time to explain to you what we worked on and why. Okay, I hope you're feeling well and comfortable both in your body and in your mind. What we worked on today, obviously, was a gentle yoga practice. We went through all of the different movements of the spine. In other words, we did some forward folding, we did some back bending, we also did some lateral movement, left and right, and we did some twisting. So these are all of the type of movements that your spine is able to make, and we accomplished all of them. So that helps to, it helps the physical body, so it helps to remove tension from the muscles in your body. After we did that, then we were ready to work on breathing and I guided you through kind of an introduction to breathing um, and to breathing in a way that helps to calm the nervous system. Our inhale is associated with the panic or the fight or flight response in the body. Uh, so you might notice like if you're in an emergency situation, we start to kind of, you know, big inhale, short exhale, big inhale, short exhale. That's what happens when we're in a kind of a stressful kind of environment or a stressful situation. The exhale, on the other hand, is tied to the relaxation response in the body. So what we did with our breathing practice is we, number one, learned to breathe smoothly, and then we experimented with lengthening the breath. And after that, we started to recognize what is the length of my inhale and what is the length of my exhale. And then we took it a step further and actually started to work on lengthening out the exhale. So you're familiar with this breathing practice now, and it's something that you can use any time in the day when you're feeling particularly stressed, or if you have a headache or any kind of situation where you feel like you could benefit from some calm and some relaxation, you can work on this type of breathing and it will be helpful for you. You can do it any time of day. It's not gonna be harmful. You can do it five times a day if you want to. Um, so what, where are we going next? You've completed this yoga practice. You've done a great job. I really encourage you to continue because 
one yoga practice isn't going to solve all your problems. You need to keep going. So if this practice feels like the right speed for you for right now, please continue working on this yoga practice as long as you would like. You can do it every day if you'd like. I would recommend trying to find a consistent time of day so that it becomes part of your daily routine. And then when you are feeling uh, like you're ready for a new challenge, you're ready for um, you know, bigger poses or more poses or longer practice or anything like that, you can browse around my channel. I've got lots of videos that you can practice. And if you're interested in deepening your practice even a little bit more, I invite you to check out my Yoga with Zalinda membership. This is a closed private group that I work with and I create lots of resources for them every month to help everybody uh, keep moving forward in their yoga practice. You can read more about that at the link in the description to this video. If you have any questions about anything that we worked on today, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And lastly, if you enjoyed this yoga practice, please take a second to click the like button, maybe subscribe to my channel, maybe leave a comment. All of those things help more people see my videos. Thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you again soon.